last season. Miami made memories at home, but left their collective mark on the road. Heinrich all the way in. No good. Ball game's over. Oh my. The win streak lives another night. Free to shoot. A free. Oh, what a shot by Wade. That gives Miami their biggest lead. LeBron with the step back. Yes, Miami has taken the lead. The collective focus and determination that allowed the Heat to become the league's most dangerous and dominant club away from home a year ago will be tested early and often this season. With eight of their first 12 contests coming on the road in this compact and condensed season, Miami will be asked to quickly recall the resolve that helped them push through monumental missions away from home one season ago. Bosch, the open jumper, puts it in. Chris Bosch, a clutch basket there. With three impressive wins already in hand, one in dramatic fashion courtesy of Dwayne Wade, Miami is on the road, confident in their mission, collective in their mindset, and comfortable in the confines of the road. Time for Pete delivered by Papa John's. Oh, it's basketball, y'all. It's a Friday night. We're in the Lando Lakes. Many of them are frozen. That's why Chris Bosch has that big jacket on. Oh, was he big against uh, the Bobcats. Emphatic on both ends of the floor. Dwayne Wade, we're still waiting to see. He's going to be a go. That foot, that was a problem on the left side against the Bobcats, still an issue. And happy birthday to you, LeBron. 27 today. He'll take a W. We'll talk more about the birthday boy in just a moment. So often we associate greatness with experience as the latter provides the all-important pathway to mold the raw into the remarkable. When he entered the league nine seasons ago, LeBron James was both. The LeBron James era is underway. Here he comes the other way. There's your first James Jam of his career. Yeah, this just in. He's got game. As we have witnessed the evolution of a player whose skills and sensational ability have already placed him unquestionably above and beyond most, both now and for all time, have we perhaps failed to remember how much time remains on the side of his talents? Though instantly anointed by so many upon his arrival into the league, nine years have helped to distance us from the reality that LeBron James started his NBA journey at the tender age of 18. His status as a veteran belies the boy who still lay inside the man. Impatient demands so often have been placed upon one who may just now be entering the beginning of what will remain the prime portion of his career. So much has he already accomplished. So much remains still unclaimed. 27 remains a birthday caught deliciously between youth and young. And LeBron James is rightfully savoring in the sweetness of the moment. Show you what we're talking about. In 2006, on this 30th day of December, against Chicago, 33 points, nine rebounds, and three assists for LeBron. Let's move on to, oh yeah, you remember this one? In Miami, in 2008, how about 38 points, two rebounds, and seven assists. And it, it, it gets worse, but this time for Atlanta, in 2009, he's always on the road for his birthday. 48 points, people, 10 rebounds, and six assists. My goodness, somebody loves playing when he's got candles on the cake. Look at that damage, the Heat did not play on his birthday last season, but he's ready to go. LeBron has four times now, including his rookie year against Indiana that's played on his birthday. This will be number five. We wonder if he's hyped up for this 27th edition of his life. My birthday is probably, you know, my mom's birthday. You know, it's probably two days that I feel you know, real, real good about playing a game of basketball. So, you know, I've had the luxury of having games on my birthday and on my mom's birthday. So. Uh, and we'll see what happens tonight. I told him, I was, you know, I was talking to him yesterday. I said, you know, you're 27, I'm only 29. That don't sound too far apart, do I? <laughs> he said, yeah, for another two weeks. But, um, you know, 27 is for like a long time ago for me. Um, but, um, you know, it's amazing how many games he get on his birthday, I'll tell you that. He always get a lot of games on his birthday. It's amazing the schedule works that way. Happy birthday. 
shout out to LeBron. Nah, happy birthday, man. You know, I know you look 37, but you're turning 27. Good for you, man. Happy birthday to my man, LBJ, my big brother. Hope you have many more, and uh, we're going to find out your real age one day. Remember that. Ron, what up, boy? Happy birthday, man. Um, not sure how old you are. I know what they say, but uh, happy birthday, man. Many more to you, homie. Hey, man. Happy 27th birthday to you, brother. Um, glad I could share this moment with you. Um, I don't think you're 27, but that's what you tell us, so we're going to roll with it. But, um, you know, been around, opportunity to see you grow. Uh, from an 18-year-old kid that had a lining to a 27-year-old man that don't have one. I'm looking forward to seeing it come back soon. Happy birthday. I love you, brother. Mike Miller, one season play for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He definitely wishes he was playing today. Instead, this morning, a shoot-around, working out and working hard out with the recovery from the sports hernia, which he had surgery on just a week before camp opened. Most doctors say on a chilly night in Minneapolis, the heat is on. Tonight, Miami's mission continues with the second of their 18 games against the Western Conference. The big question tonight, will the Heat do that with or without Dwayne Wade? The answer is with. And fans here in Minnesota excited about their young and rising Timberwolves. And welcome everybody inside the sold out Target Center for the only meeting this season between the 3-0 Heat and the 0-2 Timberwolves. It is time for Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports. Here are your starting lineups, as you can see, Darko in the middle. Our man B's on one side, Love on the other. Wes and Luke have it in the backboard for your Miami Heat. Wayne Wade, bad left foot, still playing. He's there with Rio, LeBron, Joel, and Chris. Heat's defense setting up the offense. You can see this coming all the way. LeBron running the left lane. D Wade giving him an easy pass, and he could have dunked that with his head. Go foul. Let him take the ball out on the side. He gets fouled way up top, but he continues to play. He's so strong at 260 pounds, he's able to get to finish the play, get to the foul line. Way in the post against Milicic. Three on one break. Bosch the trailer with a dunk. Yeah, 6'11 running. For the second quarter here at the Target Center. LeBron James on fire. Seven for 10 shooting, 15 in the first quarter. Heat basketball on Sun Sports, proudly brought to you by AT&T. Good job by uh, D. Wade. Finds you be inside, one co-captain to the other. And then Cole with the left hand, after making a couple, three, three shots with the uh, jump shot, finds another. Six straight points for the rising Heat. There you go, D. Wade going to the basket, and LeBron. Put some mustard on it on your birthday, baby. There you go. The last two, you can see it coming right there. How many times did he get that angle? The defender has to go to the ball. Eight assists and only one turnover. Rio's got three threes that he's hit tonight. We know he, he can really stretch the defense. They gotta honor that shot. Cole just playing a solid game. Started out hitting Jays, made a shot close to the basket with his left hand. And there's another steal as we look at that. Another assist from Cole. LeBron, another dunk. Time scores in the fourth. Let's see this again. Oh, he's clearly inside. I thought he was inside. So the referees, though, good job of not guessing. Check the replay. Make sure they got the call right. Way to the basket. What a play. Oh, my. What a play. <laughs> off a screen that looked like the Boston play yes. that the Celtics beat Miami on a year ago when Rondo laid it in. There it is. Let's what? borrow it from the Celtics. Why not? 103-101. Dwayne Wade with six of his 19 points in the fourth quarter. And Tony, it pays to have an inbounds man who yes. can throw it like LeBron James. He comes off of Bosch's screen at the top. They clear out James Jones to take his defender. LeBron threw that Almost a little too short, but Wade got it. Great play by two great players. Tony, look at the two screens. First, he runs off Battier, yes. then off Bosch. And while neither one got a piece of Rubio, it was enough to give Wade that extra step. Wow, what a play drawn up by Coach Spolstra. LeBron with his 10th assist. And now the Heat need one. Not the best of his birthday gifts having to talk to me, but this is a game he said he would take. LeBron, first of all, that play 
Heat fans already had the discussion with Eric and Tony that we've seen that play before. Is that the old Boston side out of bounds play? Yeah, yeah, y'all seen it when uh, Rondo got that, uh, you know, that one against y'all in, uh, in, in the AAA, but uh, so we stole it. Absolutely. We stole it uh, in D Wade. That's, uh, that's two game winners back to back, right? Absolutely, it is. Good for him. I like it. Very good. And coming on the backside of the unfortunate pass that you had down that wow. Udonis couldn't pull down, does it feel even better? Yeah, that was my, my mistake. Uh, you know, I should have held the ball. We up one. You know, they had to foul. Uh, Could have had an opportunity to go up three. So, uh, middle mistake by a veteran. Uh, but it's my birthday, so I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> we'll let it go with the candles when you blow them out. Uh, talk about this, these back-to-back -back wins. They're wins. They're on the road, so they're quality. Uh, are there some things that you all want to tweak, or is this the difficulty of NBA basketball on the road? It's some things we want to tweak, of course. We want to continue to get better. Uh, we know uh, we got to win games defensively. Um, and, you know, in that second quarter, we gave up uh, 33 points, which is not our staple, and allowed them to get back into the game. So, uh, you know, once we start tightening up defensively, we know offensively we can score with the best of them. But, uh, you know, defense is our mark. You're about to get some love. Happy birthday to me. I'll see you, fellas. They're gone. He told you this morning. We played it in the pregame. I'll tell you again. That man loves playing NBA basketball on December 30th because it's his birthday. And a victory on this birthday, 103-101 the final. Stay right there. Stay right there. Much more Heat Basketball and Sun Sports presented by AT&T U-verse to come. And you know, he always plays good defense, and D-Wade is there when you need him most. You know, Heat fans have become used to that. We have, we're wearing a ring on our finger because D-Wade uh, just went off on Dallas in 2006. But he makes a big jumper there, he makes another big jumper there. And then as we noted, the game winner right here comes off two screens, perfect pass from LeBron James, gives the Heat the two-point uh, lead, and then they hold on on defense at the other end. Chris Bosch, great job taking his man off the dribble. He draws, a, he's trying to draw a charge there, but he takes the contact. He shot the ball really well tonight, which helped him take his man off the dribble. Then he went down low, big three-point basket there with the heat down late in the game. He scores again here on a, on a fadeaway. Just another terrific game. Two, three very good games for Chris Bosch after a mediocre opening season game. And you got to give that guy a lot of credit. He's mentally tough, and he comes to play every night. Chris Bosch getting 16 of those 20 points in the second half. And LeBron James, well, he was terrific right from the start. 15 of his 34 points came in the first quarter. Eric, he was hot right from the beginning, as you mentioned. Boy, he was terrific taking the ball to the basket, just getting out in the open court. He was making his J's. There's no way you can play LeBron when he's making his jump shot. What do you do? Push up on him, he goes around you, lay off him, he makes the J. He can score inside, we know, with the best of them, with that size that he has. A little turnaround shot as well, getting to the basket in the open court. It looks like he had a lot of fun on his birthday tonight. Comes away with a win. LeBron James with his second double-double of the year, his third game of over 30 points. LeBron James, the NBA's leading scorer, averaging just about 33 points a game. So a happy birthday for LeBron and a happy night for Heat fans. 4-0 and the Heat winning for the third straight time on the road. Eric Spolstra and more when Heat Live postgame continues. And if you want to watch it all over again, you can turn back to Sun Sports tonight at midnight or tomorrow at noon. If I could, I'd like to dedicate tonight's win to the memory, spirit, and coverage of my best and oldest friend, Joe Rippa, who passed away last night. The Heat Nation lost a beautiful person. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For our entire crew, including Jason Jackson and the coach Tony Fiorentino, I'm Eric Reed. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.